Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say, probably now. Yeah, it's just gone uh, one o'clock. So I'm just gonna prop you up here. Just give me one second. If I have any joy. There you go, cool. What a wonderful day I've got here in Boise to talk to you kids. Oh, right, isn't that lovely? All right. So, uh, I've come in here into YouTube uh, for a little Q&A, so hopefully there's a few of you out there that have some questions for moi, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to answer them for you. Now, this could be in regards to training, nutrition, lifestyle, business, supplementation, motivation, you name it, I will do my very best uh, to host a good enough answer for you so you can actually take something away from this uh, live little chat today. So, um, second day of the Iron uh, Man of Iron Trainer. Uh, so somebody said, can carbs be eaten before bed? Yes, if you are on a muscle building pro uh, program specifically, yes, you can have carbohydrates before bed. I wouldn't suggest it probably if you're on a fat loss program. Uh, hey Chris, started Hardcore Trainer 2 and Clean Burn. Hope goes well. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Uh, there's no reason why it can't be. Are beans good for protein? Not really. There's much better protein sources out there. On a four weeks of shed program on body weight, lean or lean body mass. Yes, it goes by lean body mass, not by your overall weight. Just finished a Hardcore Trainer 2. Awesome results. How many days of reverse dieting uh, before going into the muscle building trainer while keeping fat low? I'd say probably about a week uh, because with the amount of volume that you'll be putting out in that video training, no, it'll be fine. Uh, starting your eight-week trainer and wondering about spices you use to flavor your foods. I'm from Indian descent. I'm wondering how bad it is to use the spices. It's not bad. I use turmeric. I use cayenne pepper. I use uh, ginger and cinnamon all the time. Which is better, mass builder, incline or flat branch, and dumbbells or barbells? Also, any thoughts for tempos of lifting? There isn't a, a better one, whether that be incline or decline, or flat or dumbbells. I prefer dumbbells, uh, that's me personally. Uh, live I love hydro charge. How many scoops can I take at most per day? I can take six because sometimes I'll take it with my apple cider vinegar. I'll take four in my gallon jug. Here's one I prepared earlier. And uh, maybe I'll have another one uh, later on in the day. Can I take hydro charge all day, every day? I certainly do. Uh, so yes, you can. Did the protein drop as you lose weight on the four weeks to shred? Yeah, because your lean body mass would. Um, loving the new flavor. Actually, no, the protein. Yes, it does slightly. Ever so slightly. Uh, no, because your lean body mass, no, it doesn't go down, sorry. You should be able to maintain your muscle in a four weeks of shred. Loving the new flavor profiles of recage and pre-cage. Do I need heavy cardio days if I work 10 to 12 hours demanding? Keep it, I, I suggest you do, yes. Alternative to decline bench press, if no decline bench press available. Uh, maybe some decline push-ups, that would work. Uh, when taking hydro charge, how many scoops in a gallon of water a bottle? Four scoops I like to use. Hey Chris, what's up? Is in the Hardcore Trainer 2, do you take any other supplements like vitamins, omegas? Yes, actually supplements that I'm testing of our own, of Cage Muscle, that will be out later on in the year. I usually train late nights around 11 p.m. and was wondering, should I eat a meal after I go straight to bed or just a post-workout shake? Uh, have your re-cage and maybe have casein then later before you go to bed so you do have a slow release of the uh, micellar casein isolate. Will you be releasing a casein and recage with it, without lactose? Thanks for changing my life. Kenneth, uh, if you look at the amount of lactose that is in it, it's less than 1%. Less than 1%. I know many, many people that are lactose intolerant and they take both recaged and caged muscle casein and they have no issues whatsoever. Um, hey Chris, any tips on reducing lower belly fat? Uh, yes, follow my four weeks to shred or eight week hardcore trainer. Fasted weightlifting as well as fasted cardio and cutting? Uh, Darren, follow my programs. I've never ever suggested fasted uh, cardio or weight workouts. Follow my programs or read my books. I know tomatoes aren't on your eight week grocery list, but saw you eating them on your videos. Find or avoid. Just have a few in there every now and again. Not Don't go over the uh, top. Is goat cheese better? than others can I eat them before bed with dinner uh, no I would prefer you to have casein a slow release casein the reason being is that you're gonna have the slow release of the cheese if not better without the lactose without the fat without the sugars oh, 
God, I make a fine cup of tea. Is sucralose safe? It all depends if it's in large amounts. If you're in huge amounts, then no, it's not safe. So in one of the leading pre and post workout uh, shakes there on the market, you have the equivalent of 20, uh, sorry, you have the equivalent of 50 packets of Splendor, that much sucralose. I have a tiny, minuscule amount of sucralose in my products and that's only to disguise the organic stevia that we have. Which coffee do you use? I use the organic pure calf caffeine that we sell via Cage Muscle. What's up, brother? Any diet suggestions? Cardio for 12 week muscle builder after finishing kicking ass on Hardcore Trainer 2. I don't understand. Just follow the muscle building program that I've done exactly as I suggested. Um, let me see. It can higher body fat do more than 70% max heart rate uh, cardio for better results? No. Well, you'll have to calculate it for your fat, but probably not higher. I wouldn't go higher than that. What supplements do you recommend to help manage uh, national testosterone levels? I don't know what you mean by national testosterone levels. On natural, do you mean? Uh, I like to increase my fats. Thanks for the suggestion on adding hydrocharge and BCAA. It tastes awesome. No problem, Kenneth. How to go from four weeks to shred to eight week trainer as carbs already low? Will it affect fat loss? Uh, no, it won't. Uh, I work out at 4.45 a.m. in the morning. Best pre-workout food, please. Now, you can either have recaged immediately uh, before or I'd like to have egg whites and oats. When is cage muscle testosterone subs? Keep following my socials and you'll find out. Uh, will you ever do a video indicating how cage muscle supplements are made in the lab? I've actually already filmed them. Um, I'm just waiting to get this. I've got a, a, a very long series that I want to put together and I actually want to put those videos from within the lab within this uh, education uh, series. Hey Chris, I find it very difficult to gain weight even after increasing the meal frequency to six, but I found a lot of progress in my strength and stamina. Any tips to gain weight? Follow my muscle building program? Exactly. My muscle building video trainer on bodybuilding.com. You talked about reverse dieting on a hardcore trainer too. Just wondering if I should spill over into the 12 week muscle building or go straight into that diet. But Give it about a week. Uh, in the muscle building program, how did you add each week 200 calories? Because in one of your videos in the program, you said add 200. I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused exactly what you mean. I just had 200 grams of uh, 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 cows, you know, spread out from my fats, from my protein, from my carbs every two weeks. Uh, every week, sorry. Uh, do BCAAs hinder the ability to shred? No, they do not. Chris, what's your opinion on microwave use? Do you use it often? Does it kill nutrients in the food? I don't use it anymore. Probably a lot of people will uh, bash me for that. Oh, you don't use your phone, don't have it near your head when you're sleeping and stuff like that. Like, whatever, you can bash me, this is my life. I don't use a microwave now, no. Chris, can you please get hydrocharge on small stevia-like packets? It is much easier and convenient to carry. Sorry, we cannot. It costs so much more for the consumer to buy single sachet packets. Yes, it may convenient be con convenient, but I don't want to over expense you guys. You know, I'm trying to make products as conveniently priced as well as quality. It's a fine line. I don't know why, but every time I have to touch the screen to see your questions which is a bit weird. How's the Iron Man challenge going? Uh, God, it's only been two days, I'll mug. Uh, ask me in about two months time and I'll let you know. Uh, thanks, Chris and Gerald and Tony wanted to say hello from Alabama. Thank you for everything you do and the true inspiration. Thank you very much, Gerald. I really appreciate that. I see that uh, you had a good time at the Arnold Classic. I hope it was a lot of fun for you. Uh, I couldn't make it this year, obviously. I had to go to the um, MMA Awards in Vegas, but the weather was much nicer for me but I'm sure you had a good time um, how and let me see there's another question Chris like that you have been teaming up with Steve Cook some over the past couple of years great peer yeah I actually known uh, Steve since God 2007 2008 way 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 before he become famous or was sponsored by a supplement company because you know what he's from Boise as well and I used to see him in the gym here uh, cardio in the morning workout cardio in the morning workout evening for four weeks to shred I have no idea what that question means Mohammed Gerald, hopefully we will see you at the Olympia. Yes, I will be down there. It's a little bit closer for me. It's only about an hour flight. Finished up eight-week results were amazing. 
second week of the four weeks to shred. You're fucking awesome. Thank you very much, Trey. Uh, wow, you're a glutton for punishment, isn't you? Hey, Chris. Hello from uh, Belgium. What exercise is best for developing upper quads? Uh, God, I'd say probably the you know a very a, a deep a deep hack squat. Uh, will you be at Body Power UK? Yes, I will be. How much KM Citrulline will you recommend with Hydrocharge for a two to three hour run? Probably about six to eight grams. Uh, calves are a weak spot for me, lacking in size. Recommendation? Yeah, follow my uh, calf articles that I've actually got on Bodybuild.com. I've got several written. Just type in carbs and Chris Geth and they'll come up. Can I have lamb as protein source? replacement for chicken depends what f program you're following sir what is gluten uh, is it bad for your health well everybody's got a different sensitivity and some people are more sensitive to, gl to gluten which is causes inflammation in the body and obviously as trainers trainees we need to stay away from inflammation I got asked today if I got paid because I'm always talking about cage muscle products and getting people to try the products out thank you Don I appreciate that brother uh, Kenneth my wife got a ligament injury in the gym any suggestions on healing that quickly all depends on the severity of the ligament I have no idea if it's partially torn fully torn or anything like that so I cannot get give the, any recommendations there, I'm afraid. Started that eight-week trainer yesterday. Can't wait to see the results. Awesome, huge. Thank you very much. Hey, Chris, I've been using Cage Muscle Supplements for two weeks. Price performance is simply great. Uh, greetings from Germany. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. That's one thing that we've really tried to focus on since the very beginning of uh, Cage Muscle is give you the absolute best quality out there. So our products do cost about four times the amount to make than other companies. But how can we make it price comparatively competitive uh, for you? Because we're not going to charge you four times the amount. And that's why we don't market. That's why we take a very, very thin margin. That's why you're not going to see us in a lot of brick and mortar stores. Because uh, we do not have the margin to give up. Um, Chris, is hemp protein good if you're a vegan? Yes, if you're a vegan, yes. Um, shall I use pre-caged two months on and one month off because of stimulants, caffeine? Uh, no, uh, Ridesh. So if you have read about pre-cage, you'll know that caffeine that we use is a very pure caffeine and it's called pure caff. Um, organic green bean caffeine. You do not need to cycle off that. You're not going to get adrenal fatigue from it like other cheap, shitty um, supplements. Uh, big changes on the way. Lots of lean mass gains on the way. We are starting to kill the 12-week muscle building program now. That's awesome, Joel. Good luck with that, brother. What do you think of 1-3 done? Oh, God. Absolute shit. Uh, can you explain the benefits of creatine and branched chain amino acids? Yes. Creatine HCL um, helps improve your ATP production, your Addison triphosphate. Now, you'll use that mostly in power movements, explosive movements, in sprints, and specifically bodybuilding. So let's say you could only do, say, 12 repetitions on a bench press. Maybe this will allow you to do a 13th rep, a 14th rep. Uh, so it volumizes the cell. Uh, when it comes to branched chain amino acids, I like branched chain amino acids, the fermented form from cage muscle, because it does allow protein synthesis. As natural bodybuilders, what are we trying to do? Increase our protein synthesis and uh, get a sufficient insulin spike post-workout, and that's why I will add a scoop to my recaged. Um, let me see what I've got. So many questions coming up here. Do me a favor, guys. Can you make your questions as short as humanly possible? They're coming way too big and quick, and I cannot read through all of them. Uh, pro bodybuilders are on YouTube screaming at BCAAs, make it hard to lose weight, shred. I want to use branch chain amino acids on your four weeks to shred. Sorry if I'm laughing, Shad. I'm not being condescending as that. Pro bodybuilders and the best, I mean like, uh, you know, a lot of natural top bodybuilders that I know, but maybe names that you would recognize like Dorian Yates, Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, and all the such have used the branch chain amino acids for years and years and years and years, and I uh, included, and it does not stop me from getting ripped and I take a lot of branch chain amino acids and it hasn't stopped any top Olympian or professional bodybuilder from getting rips uh, ripped too. What you'll notice in the industry, keep in mind I've been in the industry for like 20 years now, every couple of years something new will come up, something controversial, a new fad diet, a new supplement that's going to completely blow us away and you know what? You can't reinvent the wheel that much, you know. If branch chain amino acids stopped us from getting ripped, then everybody getting on stage would be fat.
uh, Chris, no seated or standing calf raise in the mach in uh, the gym. Okay, so for standing, just do it on the end of a step. For seated, get underneath like a barbell or a Smith machine and put a pad across it and add that to weight with a block underneath your heels. I'm training to run 1600 meter race under six and a half minutes. Don't want to lose any gains. Any tips, Chris? Uh, making sure that you stay on top of your supplementation and nutrition. Lol, lol, I was laughing too. I thank you for clearing that up because I just purchased yours. Thank you, Shad. Don't worry, you're not going to turn obese. I want to say I love your new apple flavor pre-cage. Can we get the same for in-caged? Uh, it takes us about nine months to flavor a product, and we are flavoring a new product, a new flavor for cage, uh, in-caged anyway, because we want people to have a plenty of variety between their pre-cage and in-cage. Alex, hi Chris, appreciate all you do. Just purchased pre cage, in cage, re cage, clean burn, pure caf caffeine. Anything else you recommend for muscle gains following the 12 week program? Yeah, exactly what I suggest in the muscle building program, which is further glutamine, fermented glutamine, fermented branch chain amino acids, and for your non training days specifically, your creatine HCL and your citrulline and hydrocharge. Um, uh, KM test booster question mark don't know what that means Chris uh, gel fanning would the capsi max removal cause me not to sweat as much now with pre cage yes that's exactly right that's if you wanted to get that bo body core temperature up you could take clean burn with it does cage creatine have the water retention effects no Noah Noah our creatine HCL is a concentrated form meaning it's microdosed it doesn't give you subcutaneous uh, water retention you'll get cell volumization within the cell uh, no hack squat machine at my gym aside from switching gyms what are a good free weight alternative uh, try the hack squat with your feet directly underneath you uh, best time to take your branch chain amino acids please so take it first thing in the morning uh, it's in your pre-cage so no need to take it then and add it straight to your post-workout shake and then during your non-training days just take it three times a day what brand brand are those sunglasses Dieters is cage muscle coming out with a test booster yes in a long 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 time from now I've been testing it for many months and I don't want to keep answering that question sorry every every day it'll keep it'll just keep following my socials and it'll come out thoughts on andro on the market shit yes definitely shit stay away from that especially any pro hormones they will fuck you up for life hello sir i'm a fitness freak my legs and biceps are very weak i can't afford whey protein what should i do well follow your nutrition program exact making sure you're getting six meals a day that you are training legs on your strongest day when you have the most energy and uh, follow my muscle building program for uh, some great and nice Relating leg workouts. Ah, right, okay. Uh, your pre-caged is the best. Thanks a lot, bro. I appreciate that, Kaylin. Thank you very much for your positive response on that. Um, uh, let me see what is there suffer from you sorry I'm just reading through these now I suffer from uric acid 7.3 can I use protein how much you will need to actually speak to your physician about that Shivam I'm not your physician I cannot give you any uh, claims based on any uh, problems that you have with uric acid I'm afraid hi Chris I've been taking a detox drink in the morning uh, how long do I wait till I have my breakfast um, I pretty much can have it like within 10 minutes 5 10 minutes so I'm fine for me. Um, hey, Chris, lost uh, 28 pounds, 7.5 fat, thanks to your eight-week trainer and supplements. Now on the 51015 system by Michael Wittig. That's awesome, Cody. That's great. Uh, glad that the Cage Muscle team is helping you out. Cage casein is awesome, even better than real milkshake. Helps with cravings downs as well. Perfect. Yeah, I have. Here's something that you can try, Sid. Uh, so last night I made like an acai bowl. So I got a lot of ice. Well, not a huge amount of ice. Uh, I just put ice in a blender. I put my uh, casein in there, added a little bit of water, but mixed it very thick, blended it much like an acai bowl. And then I put a little bit of uh, oats on there. So I actually fried the oats with a couple of walnuts. And I fried that, wait, waited it until it browned. And then I added that to the oats and I put some fruit on top, like uh, pineapple, strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. It was a beautiful acai bowl. Dude, hands down, the realest humble guy I know. Thank you for your no BS brooch. Thank you, Gerald. I appreciate that. Chris, the hardcore trainer 
diets are a little hard on me now. What do you recommend for weight loss that won't take its toll on me? Sorry, dude, you're gonna have to fucking harden up, honeys. Uh, if I was there to cushion you, I'd say, okay, well, you can have some fats, you can have some sugars, you can have a little bit lactose, you can have some dairy, and you know, it doesn't work like that way, mate. You either want the fucking results or you don't. Uh, should I take clean burn by capsule or break them into my pre workout, like you suggest, even when I'm also putting situation? That's entirely up to you. It's a personal choice, uh, Bell Greg. Chris Gomez, just started with Recage this week, won't be buying anything else. Thank you, Chris. Glad that you like the Recage. I absolutely love the flavor. And of course, I'm going to sound biased towards my own brand, but I fucking love them. Uh, is one and a half to two scoops of Pre-Cage too much? It doesn't feel like I'm getting that punch. <laughs> fucking hell, yes, it's way, way too much. Because remember, you are splitting up your uh, ingredients from your pre-cage to your in-cage, it's supposed to be a very steady influx and flow so you can finish your workout as hard as you started it. So that's why I split up like the citrulline. So you continue to get a pump at the end of the workout. That's why I split up um, like the carnosine as well. So you're able to buffer the lactic acid uh, throughout the entire duration. Uh, same with the caffeine and you know, you, the, the, the taurine and L-tyrosine, you split that up so you have focus at the end of the workout. Uh, do not, fuck can have one and a half to two scoops of pre-cage man uh doing 12 week muscle building trainer fucking nuts dude i'm uh, it's i'm as a hard gainer as they come and the muscle is coming on well that's awesome noah yeah it's a lot of food in that hey chris how many whole legs can i eat daily depends what program you're following uh shivam chris your product is very good but much expensive okay if you want me to make it cheaper for you then i can put some genetic generic shitty ingredients in there or i can swap my pure caf organic caffeine for a shitty caffeine that you get in other pre-workouts or I can use a generic creatine um, maybe I can use some artificial colors and artificial flavors maybe I won't have any certifications attached to it so it's doesn't so you can have some banned substances in there and you'd never know or maybe I won't prop 65 act it so you can have all the heavy metal contaminants that are in other supplements and then I'll make it cheaper for you how about that if you want cheap products, I'm afraid there's plenty of other brands you can actually get them from. But the thing is, I want to look after my followers' health and I want to look after mine as well. Uh, Red Dot says, your products are amazing. No bloating or side effects. Fuck the haters. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there a cage muscle uh, multi coming soon? I'll let you know when it does come out. You follow my socials. Hanis, I followed your hardcore trainer diets before and they work. But what I meant is that now I have exams and no fat is having a hard impact on my focus. Will muscle building help with fat loss? Oh, okay. I see what you mean. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So yeah, what you can do is start supplementing with some fats. And when I say fats, probably get about a thousand milligrams of EPAs and DHAs morning and night within your diet maybe start having some salmon uh, within your meals and uh, that will help with your hormonal production and your focus and make sure again remember when you're drinking hydrocharge all day every day you have your one gram of taurine which really does accentuate your focus if you have any problems there Chris which fruits should I be eating to avoid for muscle building should I need to avoid well for muscle building purposes you're absolutely fine you know it's the fat loss purposes Chris how many grams of citrulline should I take to replace high blood pressure drugs I, I'm not a physician but my father has high blood pressure and I get him on eight to ten grams a day okay but that's for my father. Uh, hey, Chris, thanks for everything you do. You're a big inspiration, motivation for me. I'm now in the process of becoming a CPT. That's awesome. Thank you, Victor. Uh, when is a new cage muscle apparel coming out? Gel, keep following my socials and you'll be the first to find out. Anna, I work out in the night because of workload. I train hard and use your products, but I'm facing issues with sleep after the workout and food. Anything you suggest? There's nothing I can suggest, I'm afraid, if you're caught on time and you can't sleep. Um, God, just make sure that your nutrition and supplementation is not 99%. It's fucking 100% so you can recover. Cody, forgot to tell you, people ask about post-workout carbs due to Jim Stepani promoting pixie sticks and fucking gummy bears after workout because of the dextrose. Okay, all right. I, I don't know what to say about that, Cody. But the reason being is that... Um, 
I've been saying this for fucking years now. Uh, okay, so to begin with, I used to promote Vitargo. Vitargo it has the osmality of Vitargo is better than any other fucking carbohydrates out there, bar none. The gastric emptying of it pretty much is pre-digested, goes straight into your muscles, helps you recuperate. I fucking love Vitargo. However, a lot of studies and tests on myself have proven that even with the intensity and volume that I train at, I don't fucking need carbs post-workout. My liver, the glycogen in my liver and my muscle cells stores plenty of carbohydrates in order for me to get an insulin spike post-workout should I take a hydrolyzed protein such as Recage. So guess what? For about six, seven years now, I haven't been taking fucking Vitargo because I don't need it. However, now uh, as I start going into this Ironman process, as uh, at some point, not now, but maybe in a few months time, when I'll be putting out a lot of volume on the weekends, I'm probably gonna have to start getting in some carbs again uh, in the form of possibly Vitargo. But fucking gummy beers and pixie sticks immediately after a workout, remember you have just trained for maybe an hour constantly under tension that time is probably about 15 possibly 20 minutes of actually working out you don't can't tell me that my muscles fucking really are desperate for carbohydrates and if i've been eating plenty of carbohydrates the day before the more or, or whenever the only time that i suggest that you take them is about an hour and a half after your workout straight after your workout get your insulin spike from recage then about an hour and a half of that when you should be eating your meal you can put some carbs in there then that is absolutely fine Okay, any new transformation upcoming program? No, I've pretty much done every uh, pr transformation program out there. So, uh, uh, Shivam, Chris, you're a real hero. You just great. Thank you for your information. Thank you, Shivam. Uh, speaks the truth. Love it. 100% great products. No bullshit in them. Control your environment. Thank you, huge. Noah, I own a new fitness company in Boise. Would love to get you a shirt hat to rep. Thank you, Noah. I appreciate that. Cody, I don't eat that shit after. Only recage. Yeah, like what I try to do is promote a healthy lifestyle. I don't say go out and eat fucking burgers, candy, pizza, chips, or anything like that. I am in this business to improve, to evolve. I want to fucking live till I'm 100. There's no doubt about it. If you've been following my Insta stories, I've actually been hashtagging that lately. That is my goal. So I want to improve people's health and performance. We train a certain way to be healthy. We work out a certain way or diet a certain way to be healthy. And supplements, we take healthy uh, supplements to improve our health. So why the fuck would I eat fucking gummy bears or pixie sticks? Uh, my teeth are bad enough as it is. Uh, where can I do lab tests like the one you took in a muscle building trainer? God, it costs you thousands of dollars as long as you're aware of that. Uh, so th there's various companies that you could possibly go for. Um, there's LabCorp and there's Quest. They do a test where basically they can uh, you can go to one of their local labs and uh, get it done. Um, Sir, can I do empty stomach cardio for fat loss? Shivam, please read my books or follow one of my free video trainers and you will see that I never, ever, ever suggest fasted cardio. What exercise can I do instead of glute ham raises? Uh, I, uh, just Why can't you do glute ham raises? I, I fucking love them. You can do uh, deadlifts if you want. Uh, what is your opinion on ketogenic diets? Uh, they have their place, but not in any of my programs. My programs are way too high volume uh, for a ketogenic diet to work with it. Chris, what multivitamin do you recommend, please? Um, so, you know, Whole Food, there's a company called Whole Food, not the Whole Foods, there's a supermarket. They do a good organic, natural uh, multivitamin. Uh, where can I do lab tests? I just answered that. Um, following up on the previous question, problem is I go to bed early and target six to eight hours, but I don't get to sleep for the first one to two hours. Anything I could do? All right, I see. Try melatonin. Have you tried melatonin or GABA even? Uh, passion flower. Um, sorry, guys. These questions are coming so fast. Uh, Chris, once you mention crush bars, are they good sometimes to eat when you are away? Uh, God, I did like them at one point, but I'm not too keen on them now, to be honest with you. So um, I'm not going to mention anything, but uh, I wouldn't suggest it. Dentist time. Peace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Too many fucking gummy beers, Cody. Uh, Chris, just read the, your book, The Transformer. 
Are you planning on any new books? Uh, yes, possibly for the Iron Man uh, video trainer. Have you read my other books? Body by Design or Bollywood Body by Design, Guide to Your Best Body, um, Caged Muscle uh, series. Have you read all those books I've got? They're on Caged, uh, sorry, ChrisGethin.com if you haven't seen those one already. Uh, was thinking about shooting you an update video, but don't want to intrude, uh, brother. No, go for it. No problem. Do it. Sound it, Joe. Um, sorry, it may take me just a while to reply, that's all. Uh, I have like at least 100 emails a day minimum. Uh, Renza, give me your money. Uh, yeah, okay, good call. Uh, do you take carbs post-workout after recage? Yes, about an hour after I've had recaged, I will eat my food with maybe some like quinoa or something like that. Okay, guys, that is 30 minutes. Thank you ever so much for joining me and providing me with these awesome questions and giving me... Um, your presence whilst I'm out here getting a bloody sunburn uh, in Boise, Idaho. Getting dehydrated out here. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourself a kick-ass day. And uh, remember to be present. Don't just keep thinking about the future and worrying about the past. Be present, guys. Love yous all.